This is Joe Neely from JoeNeely.net, and this is the second segment of the third episode of The Joe Neely Show. (sighs) As you guys know, I am quite a big fan of David Data, and in his book Blue Truth, he said this, Everything you do right now ripples out and affects everyone. Your posture can shine your heart or transmit anxiety. Your breath can radiate love or muddy the room in depression. Your glance can awaken joy. Your words can inspire freedom. Your every act can open hearts and minds. So, we are all connected. We're connected through our physiology. We're pack animals. We work together in teams to achieve amazing things. And we key into each other. We ping off of each other socially. We glance at each other and glance away. We mimic the emotions and the states of the powerful people in our group. We we just are connected in so many different ways. And this is why I, I know there's many things in our world, in our nation, that we'd like to change. But I'm not one to sit on the counterculture side and say, oh, well, let's get rid of the government and get a new one. Nah, we'll just get another one just as bad. The trick is, we need to swell up from the bottom. Not to knock things over and break things and set things on fire. That doesn't help anybody. But to have a revolution of consciousness, a revolution of awareness, people are tricked into acting against their best interest, okay, let's teach awareness. Let's have people learn how to get more. You know, women today still get paid less than men for the same work. And a lot of people say that's because they don't feel comfortable asking for more, asking for what they're worth. And of course, that's a generalization. That's (laughs) <laughs> Not true about everybody, but simple courage could change that and will. I see the next generation coming up more courageous than the last, and that's a wonderful thing. So in all the ways, by having more stable, well-rounded, emotionally solid people, you know, throughout society not just a healthy few at the top. You know, if we have people who can resist the, uh, (laughs) you know, emotional and social and uh, authoritative barrage that we're faced with, the messages that we're faced with, if we can withstand those things, avoid those things, and feel strong and confident, we can do whatever we want. A nation full of strong, independent people can't be swayed into doing terrible things. You, me, we're all connected. We are the soul of our nation. And breaking it and trying to make it better won't work. We need to swell up from the bottom. We need to rise up from the bottom, from whatever level we're at, and (laughs) grow emotionally, be strong, take care of ourselves and each other, Because strong, confident, independent people with good networks of friendship aren't easily cowed, and they aren't easily frightened, they aren't easily changed. And uh, that's what I want for you and for all of us. As David Data says, we're all connected. The little things about us that we transmit to everyone else. Think about that stuff. Think about, you know, maybe not... (laughs) having road rage. Think about maybe not trying to get some petty advantage over someone else. Think about what we can do for the whole atmosphere that we create emotionally. Anyway, that one was kind of deep. That's second segment, number two, of this episode number three. I'll be back with three more segments after this short break.